It's a phenomenon that won't happen again until 2044. Oh, so long. But on April the 8th, the moon will pass directly between the Earth and the sun, casting a shadow across many parts of the U.S. that will turn day into night for a few unforgettable minutes. How cool is that? To safely experience this rare solar eclipse following some guidelines is essential and former NASA astronaut Terry Virts. He is just the expert to share all these great things. Commander Virts joins us with details on the eclipse and a fun Eclipse-inspired treat with Sonic. Good morning, Commander Verts. How are you? Nice to see you. Welcome to the show. Good morning, Noah. It's good to be with you. It's really nice to see you, and I'm such a fan of Sonic, which we will talk all about that here momentarily, but you have seen an eclipse from space on one of your missions. Uh, talk to our viewers and tell us what was that like. It was amazing. So in 2015, I was on the International Space Station and there was an eclipse over the North Atlantic and we weren't sure if we'd be able to see it or not because it was kind of off in the distance and we looked out there and you could see this giant black spot. It was 100 miles or a couple hundred miles maybe across moving across wow. the North Atlantic. It was really surreal to see the moon shadow moving across our planet. It was pretty cool. That is cool indeed. Now, Commander Verse, exactly when is the eclipse and how long will it last and where all can people view this at? So the eclipse starts um, hitting the continental United States and Texas about 1.30 in the afternoon on okay. April 8th. It takes a little bit over an hour to go from Austin, Dallas, through Cincinnati and Cleveland and Buffalo. It leaves Maine about 3.30 in the afternoon, East Coast time. So it's a little over an hour. Uh, you can go on NASA.gov and find what's called the path of totality as it goes across. Um, but it's not that long, so you want to be prepared and be ready to see it. And as we're uh, taking a look behind you, put your uh, glasses on right now because the solar eclipse is right behind Terry. No, I'm, I'm, I'm playing with you. That, that's so funny. I I love the background, and I love Sonic, and we're going to talk all about that. So what are you sipping on over there uh, with Sonic? Yeah, it's very cool. I'm partnering with Sonic. I love Sonic. Uh, when the kids were growing uh -huh. up, we used to go, you know, after a baseball game or basketball game to see, uh, to get a treat there. <laughs> and they really want to promote eclipse safety and also just awareness, STEM, and astronomy awareness. So they have this really cool treat they came up with. It's called a blackout slush float. So it's black in honor of the eclipse. What? Yeah, it's like cotton candy dragon fruit, so it's a sweet <laughs> treat with uh, some soft serve, and these are galaxy sprinkles on top, so it's a really cool space theme. But most importantly, you get your Eclipse glasses if you get one of these blackout treats. Mm. And um, it's really important, in all seriousness, to have these Eclipse safety viewing glasses because um, when you look through these, it's basically black. You can't, you know, you can't see your buddy standing right. next to you. They're very, very dark, and you don't want to look at the sun even during an eclipse, when, when the moon's only partially covering the sun, it's still the sun, and it can still damage your vision. Mm -hmm. So don't, don't look at it with your naked eye. Don't look at it with regular sunglasses. You need some special ones. And it's just a great um, excuse to go to Sonic. There's over 400 Sonics in, <laughs> in that path of totality. It's amazing. There's 400 of them. There's thousands of other wow. ones throughout America. So even if you're in the partial eclipse zone, there'll be a Sonic nearby that um, you can get one of these eclipse glasses just to keep safe. Yes. Now, to the viewers watching that are fans of Sonic like me, uh, can they get this special treat at all locations, or is this just specifically for people that can see the eclipse? No, no, no. It's all, all locations. So they're in 48 states. So okay. if you're watching this from America, you're probably near Sonic, and you got to get your glasses anyway, so it's a good excuse to try to try a cool, uh, a cool yeah. treat. Yeah. Yeah. Get your glasses and get the treat. So then while you're looking at it, you can be sipping on your Sonic treat right there. <laughs> now, by the way, because we all know the youngins will be on TikTok. They will be trying to post these videos saying, aha, I'm going to look up here at the eclipse without putting on my special glasses. What should we uh, say to them, uh, to those people that will be trying to create these viral moments to say, aha, I did that. Look at me. <laughs> Just go buy your Sonic beforehand, and and you and you can do it safely. And with these cool, plus yes. like this is a great fashion statement. I can't imagine anything cooler right? on TikTok than to have your Sonic glasses. So the you know <laughs> they'll get more likes, I think, if they have one of these things on there. 
That's right. And who knows? Maybe Sonic, the marketing team, will be reposting and liking so then they can say, oh, my God, Sonic, like my post. I, I bet you oh, we could yeah. talk them into that. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Now, Command of Arts, what do our viewers and listeners need to know about viewing the Eclipse safely? Because you talked about the glasses, but is there anything else specifically that you want to add to anyone watching and listening sure. at home? Well, glasses are important. I say this is not going to happen for 20 years, like you said. So just take yeah. the effort. If you can get into that path of totality, go watch it. It's going to be amazing. Um, while the, the moon blocks out the sun, it'll basically turn into nighttime. And you'll be able to yeah. see Venus and Jupiter. They'll be right next to the sun, which is <gasps> really cool. cool. And there's a comet called 12P. Um, it, they, they call it the Devil's Comet because it has like devil horns. You may not see <laughs> that with your eyes, but if you have a pair of binoculars, you can probably see that. Now, don't look at the sun with binoculars because that could be really bad. But uh -oh. <laughs> look, it's just off to yeah. the left. You'll you'll see this comet. Um, so there's some really cool things to see mm. besides just the sun. But the sun, trust me, I saw the 2017 eclipse from Earth, mm -hmm. um, not from space, and it was incredible. It's absolutely worth seeing. Now, where will you be watching the eclipse from this year? Is there any specific area that you'll be at? I'll be in Texas, uh, near Dallas. So in kind of okay. in, in North Texas, it'll be right near uh -huh. the main band of the totality. So, plus Texas has some pretty good sunny weather, so hoping for right. a clear day. Yeah, absolutely, for sure. Now, Commander Verts, tell us where can the viewers and listeners go to get more information about all the great things that we have discussed this morning with the solar eclipse and Sonic. So NASA.gov is a great website for just basic eclipse information. There's a lot of websites that have the eclipse information, but NASA, I'm kind of yeah. partial to the NASA website. And then SonicDriveIn.com is another great place to get your Sonic information, see where the nearest Sonic is uh, near to you here in America. Nice. We'll have both websites appearing below. Command of Verts, thank you so much for coming on the show. You take care. You have a great day and enjoy viewing the solar eclipse this year. Thanks for having me on and I hope, hope the listeners get to go see it. It's going to be amazing. Absolutely. And by the way, you feel better. I, I will. <laughs> by, hopefully by the eclipse, I'll be over this cold. <laughs> That's right. All right. You take care now. Bye-bye. <laughs> Hi, Noah. Thanks for having me on your show. We have so many family traditions at home, but I think most of them revolve around food. And one favorite is a marble chocolate and vanilla pancake that my mom grew up eating at home, I grew up eating at home, and now I'm making for my boys. It's per perfect for any time of the year, but it's also amazing for Easter. And I just, whenever I think of Easter, I think of sweet things. You know, my pantry is like a treasure trove. There are a few ingredients that I just can't do without. It's important to start with the essentials, like oils and vinegar and rice and beans, of course, some canned items like chipotle sin adobo sauce, which I use on so many things. But at the top of my list, I have Eggland's Best Eggs. Eggland's Best Eggs are so incredibly versatile and they're packed with nutrients much more than ordinary eggs and they just make everything better they're my go-to for practically everything they will make omelets and frittatas fluffier cakes richer albondigas or meatballs more pillowy i have a mexican frittata with poblano chiles potatoes and queso fresco it's light and filling it's great for having over a lot of people because you can make it and serve it on the same skillet with a salad, some crusty bread. And then I have my now favorite tres leches cake, which is an almond tres leches cake. It's rich, it's nutty, it has a surprising tangy layer of apricot jam with crunchy almonds. You can go to egglandsbest.com to find these delicious recipes and many more.